What's going on, Scorpio? <laughs> it's Robin here. Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot and to your December 2021 mid-month tarot card reading. So almost every time before I start a tarot card reading, I check over my shoulder to see where my dog is. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to give you guys a little, <laughs> a little peekaboo over here. Here she is. Here's Lacey. Say hi. <laughs> I just love her. Anyway, guys, so everybody say hi to Lacey in the comments. It's L-A-C-I-E, okay? So I'm doing a general tarot card reading. This is going to be for Scorpio in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. If you think that this reading sucks, please check out your moon sign, okay? Because <laughs> sometimes your sun sign just isn't going to hit it for you. Anyway, general reading. I do take private clients. My email address it should be in the description box. Either that or you can give me a comment, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Scorpio. I'm going to start pulling some cards here from the Starman Tarot card deck. And uh, yeah, let's get it on. Okay, sometimes the cards come out upside down. That's called a reversal. I don't care. I turn them <laughs> upside right. wrong -o. Because I get messages from my spirit guides for you guys. So I give you guys a little, like, quick tip on what the card means. And then my spirit guides kick in. So basically, you've got the nine of pentacles. And it's like, oh, uh, now I'm getting this horrific song in my head. I usually get a scorpion song when I'm listen when I'm uh, reading for you guys. But it's called Walking on Sunshine. I'm sorry to those of you that enjoy that song. But I just, ugh, it's a teeth grinder. Anyway. There we go. Okay, I'm getting a better song. The streets are paved with gold. Okay, so you can see the pentacles. They're all around you. Some significance with a spirit animal bat here. So you guys might want to write that down. Um, you really need to take notes of any angel numbers that I see for you guys or any other weird advice that I might give you. Okay, so uh, your December 2021 wealth and abundance was your magician is rising, okay? So understanding your ability to um, manifest and create from your own thoughts. Um, you guys are in this real sort of power age, okay? Um, I just want to write down something for the title of your video. Hold on. Anyway, so you guys could have stumbled across some sort of new manifestation I'm getting the word trick, but it's not a trick, okay? Um, or you could have uncovered a manifestation block with the power of your wealth and abundance reading saying that your magician is rising, okay? So, and here it is. Here's the big payoff. The streets are paved with gold. You guys, if you're not getting immediate, immediate, um, like massive sums of whatever, uh, massive amounts of love, you know, you should start to see the breadcrumb trail, little things coming in, like finding, um, like the other day, and I was so ridiculously excited, um, I found a quarter in the living room, and I was like, woo! <laughs> so even if it's something really small like that, remember to stay super excited, because the universe is like, oh, hey, Scorpio really likes finding money, so you'll get more. <laughs> Instead of just a little drip, you'll get a torrential downpour. I'm rhyming. Woo. So do you know what I mean? So if you have really, let's say chronic pain and you wake up one morning and you're like, oh, I feel so much better today. Just so, ah, oh, thank you. I feel so much better today. If you guys have never seen, um, Tony Robbins talk about the way he speaks his affirmations. I really want to recommend him to you because he says them like almost to the degree where it sounds like he's like going ballistic, but there's such a power in that. It really magnetizes things. So remember to stay, you know, super excited about the little things because that's what brings in the big things. Okay. And then literally with the nine of coins, the streets are paved with gold. Um, I'm getting a recommendation here for you guys. You might want to buy some sort of a lottery ticket. Okay, so here's a little bit of a word of advice here. I think that sounded stupid. But anyway, the temperance card. Like, who needs to know about this? Who needs to know what you're experiencing? Um <clears throat> That's fascinating. Okay, so my spirit guides, they're saying something about 
Oh, interesting. Interesting. So they said something about a laser vampire. Okay, so this is like an energy vampire really amped up. Okay, so you're being warned here with the bat in the nine of pentacles and the temperance card. Like, don't be flashy. Don't be showy. Like, I would really advise you guys, like, what I'm getting from my spirit guides. Like, don't, um, don't be splashy on social media. You know, if you suddenly are able to afford a new vehicle, I would really try not to publish that, you know. Um, <clears throat> or if you do just only to certain friends, you know, how you can do it with specific people. Don't make your posts really public. Um, like don't talk to rando people about it. Like people like your neighbors that could seem really nice, but you don't know a thing about them. Okay. So the temperance is saying like, just keep it smooth. Okay. Just really, you ever hear that phrase hustle in silence. Okay. So you have to win in silence for yourself to, um, <clears throat> there's a reason why really super successful people, um, keep their circle super, super small because you don't know who's coming in to sort of strike at you. And this bat is giving that sort of an energy that there's like somebody lurking in the background and they're not just an energy vampire. There's, they're a laser vampire. So it's like, they're super strong right now. Um, they could be feeding off sort of the energy of the collective and then they see you, ooh, something new and shiny. So I'm gonna go over, you know, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, hey, <laughs> suck things off of your life, life blood. And that's not, that's not cool. So the temperance like can be so exciting when all of a sudden things start really happening for you. And you just wanna shout it from the rooftops, but this isn't, this isn't the 1950s, you know, where things were, I guess, a little bit more innocent or whatever. This is like news travels like wildfire. People share posts and people troll social media so that they can go and take advantage, you know. And not only that, people are like, oh, well, you have a little bit extra. How about you give me some just for free just because I'm looking so good today, you know, so... You just got to be really careful about who you share your news with. This is unbelievable. Okay, so some tarot card readers call a card that appears in every single reading for all zodiac signs. They call it a stalker card. I find that a little bit creepy, but I am getting the sense that somebody could just be keeping tabs on you. You know, so you got to make sure that people that took advantage of you um, in the past or whatever, or you know that they are, you know, kind of like, I guess, nefarious or not the most well-intentioned or they like to use people instead of actually going and supporting themselves. Um, so that's where this card is coming in. And even further, you know, just limit your exposure to people and limit your access, you know, you might even want to consider changing your phone number if you went through that icky crawly sort of somebody really taking your power away, like just change everything, you know, just to keep a sort of a cloak of invisibility around you. Because there is there is an opportunist in the mist. And you just have worked so hard so hard for this Scorpio. You don't want to just flush it away because you're not taking the necessary precautions. I'm not saying that any harm is going to be done. Just somebody just wants your stuff. You know what I mean? They want your stuff. That's all I'm getting from my guides. <laughs> I'm going to go. Bye.